Hey everyone, welcome to the game week seven uh, theme selection video. We are back into single game weeks, normal game weeks now. As far as I know, every game week from here on out is going to be just normal. Um, I don't know of anything why I could change. Obviously, there's random things that could happen that cause game cancellations, but I can't foresee any reason that we're going to have any more blanks and double game weeks. Let me know if you know otherwise. Um, for this game week, I am thinking of rolling my transfer, stocking uh, one up. There's a lot of, I think, tough matchups this week. Um, Atalanta playing Bologna, Napoli, and Juve. Uh, so definitely good to have two Inter players. But I think as of right now, uh, I feel like a lot of people should probably be rolling their transfer because you should have two Inter players coming off of that uh, double game week. I forget what what's the rest of the schedule looking like this game week. Um there we go. Where's Milan? Yeah, so Milan Lazio. We got Atalanta Bologna, Juve Napoli. Roma and Inter are like the two teams that have kind of a little bit favorable matchups out of the big teams right now. I don't think there's really anyone that you really want to chase this week because they probably don't have a good fixture and you should already have um, two interplayers, one of them being DeMarco, uh, DeMarco uh, Latero Martinez. Um, the only player that would stand out to me to bring in this week would be Dybala. Uh, he's coming off of a hat-trick game. He's definitely in form. You always know if you bring him in, though, he could get injured the very next game. Um but if there were one player that I'd be wanting to be bring in right now, it would be Dybala. Otherwise, uh, Roma's fixtures do seem like they're pretty good right now. So I might be getting them myself soon. I just don't know if I'd make the Kvaratselia to Roma switch just yet. Um, I think I'm just going to hold this week and give myself some more flexibility going forward. Um, but the top line is going to stay how the... Uh, top line has. It's going to be Zerksi, Lator, Martinez, and Vlahovic. Uh, the midfield, we're going to go with three, Ederson, Faradzeli, and Sula. I'm not really expecting big things out of Ederson against Bologna. Could be a low-scoring game, maybe some uh, tackles, blocks, and receptions points. Uh, Faradzeli obviously could score against Juve. It could, that game could go either way. Hoping Sula finds a penalty or some way to get in the score sheet. We have a back line of Bremer, DeMarco, Scalvini, and Spinazzola. A lot of these games, uh, I wouldn't necessarily expect it. DeMarco, I'm expecting the normal half clean sheet that he normally gets from just no goals against in the first half. Hopefully an attacking return. Otherwise, he's probably getting subbed in the second half. Spinazzola, I feel like when I play him, he uh, doesn't play when I don't play him, he does. So I'm hoping he plays this week against Monza, hopefully for at least half a clean sheet there. Scuffe against Empoli, I'm choosing over uh, Lecce versus Frosinone. Um, hopefully that pays off. Scuffe had a good game last week. Got me six points, hoping for another one. On the bench, I am putting Rahmani. Uh, I'm going to back Juve in the game because I feel like I have to. <laughs> um, and I'm going to have Kandreva against Unes in my first bench. But I guess the other th the only thing is, do I play Kandreva over Xerxes? Um, But... I think I'm going to stay the way we are, and Kandreva will be the first one on. I'm not going to uh, hope Goodmanson gets something against Inter, although you very well might. Uh, but that's kind of the way my team's looking. Like I said, the only player that really sticks out to bring in this week would be Dybala. Um, I feel like if you don't have Latero Martinez, you're kind of already done after last week happened. Maybe uh, Ozyman might be someone to look at as well, another player in form. Um I might think to do some kind of swap uh, next week, although I don't think I have enough funds to get both Osiman and Dabala in. I think Dabala is the next player that I'm looking at getting right now. But that's kind of how things are shaping up. Hopefully you had a fun double game week. Uh, all that drama from, what, game weeks like 21 or something to 26 is now done, and we're back to uh, normal, hoping I can continue climbing the table as I'm in the top 1,000 again. And uh, best of luck to you all. Uh, enjoy your game week. I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and take care.